discretion is advised. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash bgunlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and today I'm playing Unbroken, a game of survival and revenge by Artem Safarov. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, one of the latest Kickstarters that I just received. Um, interestingly enough, it is a game specifically made for solo play, uh, instead of just, you know, a multiplayer game that has a solo mode. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and kick it off. I am the sage, Tomu, in prison for far too long. You find yourself trapped underground yet again, but not even the quaking, fearsome monsters of the night will keep you from your hollow destiny. Uh, this game actually has, like, a huge, well, I wouldn't say, like, a huge, but, like, a, a story around it, which I was very shocked about. Like, I, I, I mean, I was... The whole premise is that your party was killed and you were barely left alive, um, and you're like, I'm gonna get my revenge and go after these monsters that killed my killed my party. But uh, behind the scenes of that, there was like this Adam and Eve kind of thing where they had like a son that grew corrupted or something like that. It was all over the place. The story is really weird for this game. It's like you would think, oh, it's a game about survival and revenge, but yet there's this whole weird Adam and Eve God thing behind the scenes that this is like, what? Um, and the Kickstarter came with a sh piece of sheet music. That's that's a first. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I am the sage. I have my bare hands, and I am ready to go. So the first thing that you do, well, actually, here's my abilities. Um, I, as a general action, I can spend two effort to gain a cunning, yay, and mes uh, memorize response after the encounter step, I put one of the revealed encounter cards that I did not select on top of the encounter deck, then I have to commit to the next encounter, which means I have to do it, uh, which is pretty, which is actually pretty good, that means that I can, I have a little bit more selection over, over my, like, what I'm coming across, it's like, oh, hey, I'm remembering what I just saw back there. And then Dangerous Idea, as a travel action, I can roll the six-sided die, and if it's higher than the current level, I gain, um, I gain more time, which is actually really helpful. But if I roll a one, I lose a time. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I have this quick start reference travel phase thing, but uh, it's kind of has glare on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, but, I mean, it's really for me more than anything. Uh, so I can do as many actions as I would like. Now I could gain a bunch of different. Now I don't know what monster I'm actually going to come across, so I'm probably going to just go ahead and see what I'm up against anyway. So I'm going to spend an effort and a time to go ahead and and scout as a travel action to reveal the monster. So I am in level one. Some of the actions that you do can actually be, like, thematically grounded, and especially whenever you're, like, you know, scouting ahead to see what you're fighting, and then you're like, okay, that's kind of in my way, so I'm going to go back and prepare and get a whole bunch of stuff to see if I can even kill it. Um, it's, it's actually, you know, surprisingly good. I'll just set these off to the side. So, level one, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and just roll that, and it is six, so the monster is going to be... A were rat. Boom. That is what I'm scouting. That's what I will end up fighting uh, come come the time. So I will not be getting ambushed. Uh, well, actually, I still might if I run out of time. That's disgusting. Um, and then I can trick him. But let's see. Cursed and consumed by an unknown source, she claws at you with insatiable bloodlust. Your visible keepsakes that pay respect to your fallen comrades unfortunately fuel her vengeance even more. Oh, yeah. Gross. Ew. She just has... She just has like Wolverine claws on her and a hand in her bag. That's there you go. There's the the wear rat. Um, response at the beginning of the battle step, I gain the afraid condition. Cool. Okay, so basically this makes me lose a. She just makes me lose a bunch of effort. Oh, it makes me lose food and cunning. All right. All right. Wow, that sucks. But only has two health, so not too bad. I only have bare hands. 
I could try and go for a knife, but I need to get some metal and a secondary level of effort and two time. So, um, let's go ahead and try and utilize my ability as much as possible. So I'm going, I'm going to not craft, I'm going to uh, orienteer, which costs one effort, so I draw two additional uh, encounter cards, so I have one, two, three, four. So, here are the four that I'm coming across. Oh look, uh, a blind trader. Wow, that's actually pretty neat. It's the exact same, same art style. But, spear fishing, uh, wooden debris, mumbling co uh, kobold, and a blind trader. So, I actually can't do any of these. Well, I can do one of them, and if I, that cost, that cost four to, ah, uh, ooh, well, one, two, three, four, that's, um, oh man, that's going to be a, a bad time. Um, but I think I can actually make it work. So, but I'm not going to have any food. Wait, do I get food from, nope, I do not get any food. Awesome. Um, and I don't get any food from here, so I, uh, I don't, I can't spearfish, so that's not going to give me any food because I have no metal. I don't have the super effort to give me three cunning. And I don't have any treasure to get to... Okay. So... Now, I can always rest if I wanted to. Um, and receive... So I can rest on, like, the wooden debris and gain four effort back, but I'd still lose the four time. I'd much rather spend that effort and the four time, which is probably not a good idea. It's going to move me down to two to gain three wood. And so... All that's just going to go to a discard pile. And I could, in response, put one back on top. But there's nothing there that I can utilize. So, that actually really sucks. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, not terrible. Um, I'm not going to get any food. But level one, it's alright. But what I am going to do is spend that three wood that I just found. And an effort and a time to craft the club. Boom, already better off. So, now the club, actually here's what bare hands says, everything has flavor text on in this game. Uh, yeah, so like the wooden debris, which I should have read as well, and here's the, the artwork for it. Uh, you can pilfer some wood from a fallen structure here. It looks like an organized force of soldiers lost a battle against some horde. Orcs, by the look of things. By the look of things. <laughs> Bare hand said, left without a proper weapon? It makes no difference. Your clenched, bruised fists will serve you well. You have everything you need to uncover the mysteries of the dark and exact your revenge. On whom? You'll find out soon enough. Ooh, it's the were-rat. Then the club says, um, mm. Sharp barbs protrude from the discarded firewood. When crafted into a serious weapon, it splinters just out like knives. This is sure to make things messy. Good. 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 Let the hate flow through you. Um, so, basically, I can spend an extra effort to, um, to, well, not an extra effort. I, oh, yeah, I can spend two to damage a shield. I can spend a regular effort to dim, dim, do a heart, and then I could do one of each to do three damage. So, not not horrendous. Um, let's see. So I still have time. But I have to... Unless I can get a zero. I only have one time left, which means that if he ambushes me, I'm going to lose four time. From the, for the next level, and I don't want to do that. So, I'm not going to be able to eat afterwards, because you also have to manage your, your hunger. But I have a lot of effort left, um, which is good, because I actually didn't run into anything useful. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, actually. Oh, now I'm going to do dangerous idea. Actually, roll a six-sided slash die. Whoops. Awesome. Well, it's a two, so it's higher than level one, so I actually gain a time. Yay! That's pretty helpful. Meaning that I could, because if you, if you, if, like, I can't remember, do the, yeah, like, we go first whenever you fight them, but if they ambush, then they go first. So... If I doesn't matter, I'm gonna get I'm gonna be afraid by this thing that has knives on its hands. But I could spend one, two, three, four. I could spend 
poor effort. Ugh, to gain an ultimate effort. I don't know what they're called. There is a lot of resource management in this game. Like, if you need certain things to be able to upgrade that would potentially help you survive, you, you have to keep that in mind. Otherwise, it's, you can't just willy-nilly just run in and just start drawing cards from the deck because that's not, that's not how you survive. But the second level effort, which means when I go to fight it, I can spend it and one more effort to just auto-kill it. Which is not terrible. Yeah, that's not terrible at all. And it's not going to cost any time. Then I can still go through the encounter. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I can... I don't know what the hell that was, so I can still prepare. So I'm, I am going to do that. So I'm just going to knock me down to five. I'm going to gain one. Then... So I have that. Now... I can, I could risk going and doing an encounter and hopefully getting something, but it would have to be something that costs zero or one time. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Or oh, actually, I will, mm, I'll gain two, two effort from that person or from killing that. I'll gain two time extra, which is pretty good. I'll gain a treasure, which is not terrible, and a skill. Because I'm only, well, yeah, yep, yep, let's just go ahead and draw two. Oh, perfect, okay. Oh, awesome. So, uh, I come across a chained legacy and a valuable horde. Um, can't do the valuable horde, but I can do the chained legacy, which there's the artwork for that. It says, the lost trinket calls to you like a deity or soul trapped from another world. While you know it does not belong, it somehow strengthens you for dangers you have yet to face. I don't have to spend anything. It costs me one time, and I gain two effort. Awesome. Uh, so I do that, lose time, equal, doesn't read zero, then I go back. I'm not going to prepare. Well, I mean, there's really... See, whenever you do actions, you can't find food. Um, so, and I, I mean, there is a character. He lets you find food, which is very helpful, so I just have to hope I come across food in that thing, but I did not... But it's fine, it's not going to be the worst thing. Uh, so I am not going to do any preparing. I'm just going to go ahead and go to fight him, which then moves over here. I reveal the monster. I'm not going to trick him. Basically, if you trick him, that means you don't have to fight him. Because uh, it's just like I use a little bit of effort. I like kind of run away. I'm like, oh man, fuck that thing. But nope, I'm going to fight him. And I'm going to spend one effort and one of my extra effort to do three damage, well he has, sorry, he has two health, to deal three damage to him, which automatically kills him. Basically, I just run in with a club and just smack his booty, which, now I will get one treasure, yay, two extra time, um, yay, two extra effort, puts me up to eight, and a skill, and you draw two skills, and you pick one, so I have Wrecker, uh, passive, I ignore all defend effects in combat. Uh, oh wait, sorry, before, at the beginning of the battle step, I gain the Afraid for level 2. So, uh, the fear is palpable. On the verge of losing your senses, you quiver. Danger awaits around every corner. Resting is not an option. You search within yourself, find the necessary adrenaline, and harness the last reserves of your power, yet the fear remains. So, passive, I cannot rest during the expiration step, meaning... Uh, I just, I, I just can't rest. Which is not terrible. I don't rest that often, even though I probably should. Um, but not the worst, not the worst condition. Anyway, so there's counterattack. Uh, this skill bypasses shield. After I suffer a wound effect in combat, inflict one. Ooh, that's really good. Or wrecker. Ignore all defend effects in combat. Response, after making an armor-breaking attack, I may make another attack. That's really good too. Essentially meaning, but I have to have extra effort with this club. But hopefully I can get make a maul or an axe in the future, because it's gonna get way worse. Um I really think counterattack is gonna be way better. Like fighting like for example, fighting against this thing, his first four rolls would have been wounds, and each time that would have happened to me, he would suffer one wound back. Counterattack is gonna be way better. Um Which says 
Damaged but never defeated, every scratch your enemies deliver comes at a price. You answer every blow with your own, repaying every enemy's strike with more blood. Soon, following your dem demanding battles, you'll have to rejuvenate yourself in the fabled underground spring. Alright. And it bypasses armor, which is actually really good too. Um, because armor is a pain. Huh. Who would have thought that, in a fight, armor was a pain? Hmm. I mean, it's like, it's designed to protect you from dying. And if you're fighting against it, it's like... Yeah, it's almost in the way. So, he is dead. Now we have level 2 coming up. Well, actually, there's still stuff that happens. So, the hunger step, I may spend... Um, Oh, okay. I may spend uh, effort in exchange of food, um, so I will spend one effort to because it's level one. Uh, so if you if I that's right, if you actually have food, you gain effort back. Um, and if you ever lose, run out of effort when you have to eat, you starve and die, which is something you most likely don't want to do. Anyway, I'm still alive. The monster was defeated. It's it's not level four, so now we just go on. Uh, now, level two, great. Oh, by the way, the goal of the game is to kill four monsters. Um, so I can't rest, which is fine. Um, but I do, I don't know why I didn't even pull, pull the rest of those out. Because now I can use my abilities twice. Well, not all of them twice. But I'm going to need all these blue ones out. Let's see. Let's pull these, so now that's a level, level two. So his his memorize will come will 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 come in handy. <laughs> I hope at some point, especially because there were times last time I played this where I was like, oh, I want to do both of these, but you can't. You can only do one. So, and that that skill is really really good. All right. So everything essentially stays the same, but I get more time to do things. So I don't want to spend more more effort to do. But I am going to orient here just to, you know, kick things off. So now one, two, three, four. Four encounters. So there is a... Ooh! Oh! That's not... Tip. <sighs> okay, so I am going to... That's pretty handy. That would be even more handy if I had more effort. And I could spend four time at a purifying pool, which is funny. Um, where was that? Uh, oh, it was the counterattack that said, uh, following all the, oh, in the fabled underground spring, which might be the purifying pool, because I could actually spend four time to discard this afraid. Oh, uh, which isn't horrible. Because one, two, three, they put me down to ten. Um, you know, uh, I'm actually going to do that. Yeah. Um, because, and here's the reason why, so I'm going to spend one of my actions to put this bribing the whelps back on top. I'm not going to do juicy bats or a way out, but I am going to spend one, two, three, four, because I don't see myself getting a lot of food, to do the purifying pool. Uh, waiting in the underground lake, you feel it's radiating. Yeah, wait. Wait. <laughs> Waiting in the underground lake, you feel its radiating and calming energy. You take a drink, and something co courses through your blood, rejuvenating your body and spirit. So, I am no longer afraid. Whew, thank you, Koi Pond. Um, I did spend the four. So, that's that. Uh, essentially, like, you just kind of keep it doing the explore step over and over. Um, this quick travel reference is not really needed. Um... Because you can do as many actions as you want, then you go and decide if you want to fight the monster. Um, then you can do and basically do the exploration. Um, so, um, and cunning is okay. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm uh, gonna reveal the next two, and I have to commit to one of these, um, which is fine because I was going to anyway. Wish I had some wood, but I don't. I'm bribing the whelps in exchange for... There's the, the art for that as well. In exchange for a shiny trifle, the goblins share their tribal legends. Your ears are left ringing with stories of old kings, long dead, long dead, but they inspire you to carry on and escape these wretched caves. Yay! Thanks, tribal people. So I spend my treasure. I gain one cunning and two effort, which puts me up to eight. 
Woohoo! Um, yeah, so I lost the time, and I go back, and I am going to, uh, scout as well, basically the two that they just gave me, and two time, to see what the level two monster is, so I'll just roll that again. Wow, two. Alright. Um, each of these have a number at the bottom. Um, ooh, sweet! A cave bear! Ugh, that's gross. That, that's not gonna be fun. So the cave bear only has, well he has a couple wound things. Um, which is not good, but I get a lot of food if I kill him. <sighs> okay, yeah, here's the cave bear. And it says, Growl! A deafening roar echoes through the chambers of the dark. This enormous grizzled animal looks like a survivor of many battles. He deserves a good death, since you are in no rush to accept yours. For a moment, the bear's eyes glisten, almost appearing human. Then he charges. This isn't going to be easy. I could trick him with two food, uh, which I don't have. But, that's not terrible. I mean, that, that he sucks, but he can actually miss. Uh... Oh man, and once he's defeated, it takes a turn. So he has five health. I don't have anything to be able, but I have some effort, and I can rest now. So I'm um, going to explore. Um. Ooh. Oh, that is that is well worth it. Okay. So a uh, forbidden room. It's going to cost one time. Up. Oh, Jeez, that's tiny. Uh. So oh, there's that forbidden room that I can cry because I'm probably going to die. A blocked room, a door with no handles, an entrance with no way in. You know you shouldn't be there, but an untapped energy inside of you stirs. There's only one way to get through that door, brute force. A calling from deeper in the dark summons you, and it makes you stronger. So I'm going to spend one effort, and it gives me uh, an extra effort, a medium level effort, which is perfect because that's what I need to deal three damage um, to this guy. So... That helps out a lot, because I don't think he causes me to lose anything like that. Uh, but, yep, and I lost that, so I'm just going to keep exploring, because I don't want to spend any more of that. Um, but I could get more time. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna get more time. I'm going to do a dangerous idea. Perfect. Six, so I gain one more time. Awesome. Which is going to be helpful. Now I'm going to. No, I need. I'll probably need to rest because this guy's gonna fuck me up. Ooh, I do not need to rest. That's awesome. Giant protector. The artwork in this game is actually pretty, pretty good. Like they have some repeats, but ultimately, like, it's not bad. The stone giant answers no questions, but his ancient knowledge helps starve off your death for a bit longer. You hope his foreboding words won't be the last thing you hear echo in the dark. Wise seers once warned you to never disturb old things, and so you turn around while you still can. Great, that just gives me three, three effort, and costs two time to do. Awesome. Not bad, I'm getting a lot of effort, which I need to not, because I'm not getting any food, but... I don't think this club is gonna get me get me through that much longer. Um, yeah, my preparation step. I have no more abilities I can use over there. I already revealed the monster. I have one cunning, but cunning's not really gonna do much. I could do a general action. Hmm. You know, I think I'm just gonna keep exploring. Ooh. Well, a surge of confidence. Is that her? Is that her on the front? No. Wait, is it? I don't know. I don't know. Well, there's a picture of some some girl, and I couldn't tell if that was the same girl as this one. She reminds me a lot of, like, Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn, a little bit. Because um, I can definitely see Aloy doing stuff like this, going out and getting revenge. Um... You spend some time recalling your fallen companion, and flashes of their battle speeches inspire you. Their death will not be forgiven. Forgiven. Oh, their memory will not be forgotten. Okay. So, two time. Whoop. And a cunning, so that did come in handy, to gain a fire effort and a regular effort. Okay. So, this is where it gets dicey. Oh, what's the, what's the second one? I could. No, I can't. Never mind. I was going to use my Memorize. So, here's what I'm hoping. Like, I'm hoping that whenever I fight the cave bear, 
I just do one massive hit to him, three damage. I'm gonna go ahead, and he has because he has no sh no armor, so he has five health. Do three damage to him. Then I hope he rolls a two, which will wound me, lose me an effort, but it'll de deal him back, and then I just deal one. And so that that's but he gets to go one more time after I kill him. Hmm, that's that's best case scenario. Uh, but most likely he's not gonna do any of that. He's gonna you know do a, you know the steal, and he's gonna do the the worn. Miss wouldn't be too bad. I, w I wouldn't hate that. But here's the question. I need to decide. I have three time left. Yeah, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. This is pretty risky because thematically, which is actually pretty cool, if I'm trying to forage or do something or get a weapon or, and it's like, but I'm not keeping track of where my enemy is, it can sneak up on me in, in any format of anything, like games, books, real life, you really don't want a bear sneaking up on you because they are always tough. Always. Oh, uh, okay, perfect. Perfect. So, I'm going to do discarded weaponry. Uh, yeah, because eye-opening vision would be helpful right now, but I don't have the time to do it. Uh, taking a sharp discarded weapon might mean you must face what's around the corner. The sounds of goblins and other horrors bounce and echo off the walls. Time is running out. Tick. So, I have to commit to the next encounter, um, but I gain a metal, which is pretty helpful because, well, not really. To make the axe, I need a wood, four time, three metal, and, I mean, the, the big one. But the axe is really good. I have to have really good effort to use it, but it's really good. Like, one massive swing from the axe would be able to just kill this bear in at once but we'll see so I'm going to whoo all right yep you know I will commit to this that'd be very helpful too but I do not have any more treasure the crystal caverns gonna cost one time I'm getting really lucky here shade crystals shine and reflect all around you more light is stashed here than on the surface and it awakens untapped power inside of you shadowed figures challenge you in the distance yet they seem to be mere illusions in these caverns there's the the artwork for that. So I already spent the time, it's gonna give me two effort. Okay, now I'm going to fight him. Like, uh, well, go back to the preparation step, then decision, I'm gonna go fight this guy. Meaning, uh, it's my go, so I'm gonna spend my one, and then one to deal three damage to him, knocks him down to two. Then, that does not kill him, so it is his turn. What is he gonna get? Ooh, a three! What a surprise! So he steals, I don't lose any food. So, there's that. Then, I will spend one to deal a damage to him. Then it's his turn. And, uh, it is a six. <sighs> oh, God. Is that a six? Yep. Which, he does wound me. So, I'm gonna we'll do a three. Oh, that's disgusting. Uh, but, my counterattack goes off, and it kills him. But... Since it does kill him, that, that is not at all how I wanted it to go. Um, and then I'm just going to lose one. Okay. God. That. Well, he's dead. So I gained three food. One, two, three. Um, I gain an ultimate effort. Two time. So that'll put me up to 18. And a skill. Hell yeah. Perfect memory or defensive stance. Ooh, probably defensive stance. So perfect memory is at the beginning of the exploration step. I may take an encounter of my choice from the discard pile instead of drawing. That's pretty good. But I can only do that once per level. Limit one per level. I wonder if that means like... Yeah, probably once per each level. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do defensive stance. Like a rock, you stand ready and prepared to deflect whatever assault your adversary plans to unleash keeping you primed and ready up to this point. Your past training ensures you won't let your fallen comrades down. So response, after choosing a wounding attack, uh, reduce the attack power by minus one to apply minus two to the monster's next combat roll. Oh, okay. So I, every, so I thought that I got to reduce his thing, which is still actually pretty good depending on what I'm fighting. Uh, so... If I did a three, I could choose to do two instead of the three to apply minus two to its combat roll. That's still not terrible. Um, 
it's just going to be circumstance because of the roll. But if ones are misses, like like his would have been, then then that would have been nice to have when he rolled that three, for example. Um, all right. So, uh, oh, I do have food now. So I do get to eat, but I have to eat two. Um, let's see. Yep, equal to the current level, so I will eat two food, gain two effort. Then I'm going to gain a third thing. Yay. All right. And now I have 18 time, which is still pretty good. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash bgunlocked and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs, which include audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more from leading audiobook publishers. What I do is I actually download their app, which enables me to be able to listen to the Wheel of Time series, which is phenomenal if you're looking for a huge fantasy world. But if fantasy isn't your thing, well, you can also do romance, fiction, teens, nonfiction, comedy, science and technology, and many, many more. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash BG Unlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so level three. Let's see, what do I want to do? Probably, now I'm running low on effort, but I have some food. But, huh. Yeah, I need to get some effort. I need to rest. Uh, but I also need cunning. If I can get if I can get cunning, it's cunning in a time. Okay, I need I do need to rest. So I will orient here to draw four. Oops. All right. Well, that's really good. That's also really good. Oh, man. oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, perfect. Oh, these are. All really good. So, I very much like that I can mitigate the deck because so much of it is random. In fact, everything about that deck is random. So any form of control that I can get over that is only going to aid my survival. That's a lot of time though, but I think it's going to be worth it. Um, so I'm going to lose these two, and then I'm going to spend my action to put one of these back on top. doesn't really matter which one I do. So the one I'm going to do is Edge of Exhaustion, so I didn't even have to sleep. There's me, there's me sleeping. Near the brink of collapse, a well-deserved rest by a kindled fire does you some good, spiriting you for the battles to come. So, it's going to put me at 8, which is going to be helpful, and cost me 3 time. Yay! Okay, then, I, which is, I mean, I'm going to keep exploring. Um, so, I have to do Rusted Cage which costs four, which puts me down to 11. But it's fine, because I'm gonna spend one to get two metal, which puts me to three metal. So, howls emanate from deep inside the caverns, the sound growing louder by the second. Rusted metal clings to the bones of this corpse. The loose and sharp barbs hanging from the cage can be easily pried. Rest assured they'll come in handy. Hell yeah, they will. So, now all I need is some wood, which I hope I can find some wood, which I probably can. So, once again, just going to encounter, boom, ooh, well, I can get some food, which I'm going to need. That costs five, that, that's, I guess I'm just going to be dependent on what I find at level three, because I'm not going to spend five time to get too cunning, but like, oh, I don't need to spend five. Oh, I could rest. That would spend. Ooh, that would be really good. Okay, so I'm gonna use my second ability to actually put this back on top. I am gonna rest, which will give me five back. I'm still gonna spend five times, so it'll put me at six. Um, so I'm not even gonna read that because it doesn't matter. Um, so then I have to commit to the next two. Aw, that'd be good, but it's fine. So I'll spend the one time. Spend one effort to gain a food. Edible tree is what I found. The dim yet still glowing. Branches light a path to aid you on your journey. The source seems to stem from the flowing rivers of the dark you saw from above. Its root lead you to uh, read you the wow. Its root lead you to food you desperately need. Easy enough to pry using only some of your strength. There we go. Yay! Um, 
I still need some wood, but I could, I could, okay, so here's what I do, I'm going to spend two effort to gain a cunning, then I'm going to spend a time and that cunning to see what's coming up, three, three for level three, how appropriate, it's going to be, that's four, that's two, that's three. A Savage Knoll! Woo! So nothing with armor yet, which uh, I guess is fine. Uh, I'll take that. Um, Savage Knoll. There's his artwork. He has eight health. Let's just get, oh man, that's a lot of health. Oh, that's an ambush. Okay. Whew. Um, crap! Nimble and quick, the beast cracks his whip at your heels after hearing your footsteps in a frenzy. He attacks you, he attacks over and over, his weapon whistling through the air before it strikes you. Startled, you crouch down and prepare to defend yourself from the ravaging beast, his eyes glowing with, with greed and bloodlust. He wants something, and it only begins with your life. Um... So... Attack power of all wounding attacks inflict three plus wounds is halved. That sucks. That sucks. So basically, oh man, this guy's gonna be a dickhole. You get you get one of everything for killing him. Wow. Um, yeah, meaning so my first three is only gonna be two because you round up. Oh, this is gonna. Oh man, for one turn. Okay. Well. Oh well. Defensive stance is actually probably going to be really good then. So, because if it's going to be down to a 2, I might as well just minimize it. Alright, so I did that. Now let's see what I can find. I don't want to... I can't do that. That's not going to be helpful right now. That would be super helpful if I had any cunning, but I do not. So... Ugh... I got the two food. Man, I really need a piece of wood. I'll get a piece of wood, so I'll have the, okay. I'll have the axe for the next for the next round. So I guess I'll do this idle sacrifice. As the game goes on, decisions become more and more difficult to make because the monsters become more and more difficult to fight and then survive. And it's just like in once again thematically grounded. If if. I'm on my, you know, last edge, like the, the final straw at the beginning, and it's like, okay, I can truck on through, I can, I can make it. Well, you're gonna have to bite the bullet at some point, and unfortunately, in this game, it's, it's almost all the time. Uh, so, there's the artwork. Sacrificing the blood spilled from a beaten beast, you're worshipping at the idol's altar, grants you a glittering trinket, so that costs two time I gain a treasure. And then, I mean, I don't want him to ambush me. Like, I really don't. And if I draw something that requires me to take two or anything higher of time, I, he would get two turns every round, which would just obliterate me. So, I... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go after him. We're just going to see what happens. Um, but, I mean, he has, he only has one wound. This is, this is, this is probably it. But I have nine effort, and he doesn't do a lot of effort. Okay, yeah, we'll just, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go after the Savage Troll, so it's my go. I'm going to spend one there, and one there. One effort to do, uh, but I'm going to choose to do minus one, so it's going to be two damage. Knocks him down to six. Uh, so he'll get minus two to his next combat roll. So now it's his go. It's actually a zero. Uh, because see, it was a two. So it goes down to zero, but it's a one. So he misses. Ha <laughs> ha! Defensive stance. Now it's my turn. Gonna spend one effort now, because I don't have any extra, to deal one wound to him. Then it's his go. I could do zero to make it. No, that wouldn't, that wouldn't do anything now. Um, oh, okay. Uh... Well, it's a wound, so I'm going to lose one effort, but I deal one damage back to him. Then, 
I'm going to spend an effort to deal a damage back to him. Then it's his go. Two, um, well, that's not, okay. Yeah, so two is going to be disarm. I downgrade to bare hands for one turn. Um, ooh, this is going to be, well, I might pull through. Oh, God. And I think I have to. Well, you can do your regular actions. Like, you, could, I could focus and do that. But that's really risky. Um, or combat action. Yeah, yeah. I can do... Yeah. So, I could do that, but I'm not... Oh, actually, no, I didn't have any wood to abandon him. But one of everything... That's not the worst. Um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. So, I'm going to do that. Deal one wound to him. So, then I run and pick my weapon up. Now it's his turn. Oh, awesome. Uh, so I'm going to lose an effort, but he will take a wound, and then I will spend the last effort to kill him. Whoo! Oh, man. I have one effort left. I think I have... Okay, so reward. I'm going to get one metal. Whoop. One, one trinket. One wood. One food. One cunning. One effort. Literally one of... Well, almost one of everything. It would be nice if I got the extras, but... I could have spent that fiery one, but I'll use it on the level four. And I get another skill level. So cautious, um, oh, or berserk. Oh, that's, uh, I'm probably going to do that one. Cautious is at the beginning of a level I gain time equal to the current level plus one, but if I do, I immediately gain the afraid condition. Um... Which we all know, afraid, it just means I couldn't rest, which I'm probably going to be doing a lot of, because uh, I have zero effort. So I think I'm going to do Berserk. You descend into a madness, your, your descent into madness continues, driven by vengeance. Your foes will regret infuriating you after you swiftly put an end to their suffering. You start to lose yourself as every swing feeds your bloodlust. These punishing strikes, however, won't be your last. So after a monster's combat roll, I may increase the result by two. If I do, the attack power of my next wounding attack is increased by plus one. Which, and then I can also reduce it to make their, my, so basically I have Berserk and Defensive Stance, which go against each other. Um, and with counterattack, that actually is not terrible. So, I know I'm going to have to eat, but I do have enough food because it's level three, and I have three food, so boom, boom, boom. It's going to give me three effort. No more food, but it doesn't matter because I'm on level 4 now, which means I, uh, if I kill this thing, I'll, I'll win. Um, I didn't gain any more time, so I have 4 there. Awesome. So nothing with armor, which is good, because the only way I can deal damage to armor is if, so I'd have to be, yeah. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is craft, yes, the one wood. Four time, one, two, three, four, down to 15. Uh, three metal to get my axe. Yeah. So, here's the axe. Super badass. Uh, this beautiful weapon flawlessly flies through the air as you repeatedly swing and bury it in the skulls of your, of your foes. Now to send your axe home where it belongs. Careful, be sure to watch for splinters. Um, so a, so two ultimate ones give me five damage, or one fiery one, which I have, does five damage. So, that is nice. And, well, that's not, that's not that nice now that I think about it. Um, because I'm going to have to have, I can only deal damage through big efforts. Uh... So we'll just see how that goes. All right. So I yeah I just need to keep exploring. Um. All right. Well, misguided dreams. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Um. I'm not gonna rest. No. 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 Nope. Um. Oh, I do have a cunning. Cunning two effort and two. Okay. So I'm gonna do misguided dreams, which is gonna cost five time. Not gonna add the ten, but. Nightmare so real, the sights and sounds stick to you like a memory, plague you while you sleep. Despite the vivid dreams of unknown monsters, you wake up with renewed strength. That gives me two of these, which is perfect. 
because two of those will give me five health, and then I've, ooh, ooh, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. All right. Um, oh, but I still have to, oh, fuck, I forgot, you still have to eat. All right. <clears throat> but depending on what I find, so I have a cunning. Yeah, so let's go and do that. Let's just see what I'm fighting. Two, and then two time to see what I'm fighting for level four, which is going to be, funny enough, that's number four. So, it is a troll. Okay, so stuff with no armor, actually. So that's actually, that's really, really good. Um, and he does a lot of wounding. God damn it. There's the troll right there. And his thing says, This deformed hulking figure shakes the very ground you walk on, holding on to the last vestiges of your hope. Um, you tremble with fear as the troll raises his rock-like arms to strike at your old wounds, now opening faster than their healing. He's quick and big, but maybe not fast enough to end your journey through the dark. Great. Okay. So, he heals. He heals one. Ugh. So basically my counterattack isn't going to do anything. It's going to de- it's going to wound him but he's going to heal it back. Um, okay. Ugh. This guy is disgusting. So... Because he can... Oh, man. All right. Well, he has 13 health. And I need to find... All right, well, let's just see. Let's just see what I come across. Oh, look, one wound. Um, oh, I could gain a skill. Oh, I don't have any food. All right, well, I'm going to have to rest. Boop. That's pretty much all I'm going to have to do is rest up for this fight after seeing, seeing that because, well, yeah, because I can't spend any more effort. Um, ooh, I will actually. Oh, sweet, awesome. So I gained some more time. Got a six. Uh, so now, two encounters. I can't do the starving goblins, but I can do the old cartographer's map. Um, what did I, oh, I didn't gain my two effort for resting. It's been one to gain a food, which I'm probably going to need. Yeah, fuck me. Because you don't gain anything afterwards, because it's like, you do, after you beat him, um... Then, if level 4 is defeated, so you have to survive past the hunger, which I need to have. Oh, this is going to be rough. Okay, so yeah, the old cartographer's map. The faded, bloodstained map serves you one purpose. Remembering X always marks the spot. You orient yourself to the adjoining room for food stores using a discarded key. Secret locations and walled-off rooms must protect certain valuables you will need later. Alright. Um, let's do the travel action again. Yeah, um, well, yay! I mean, I spent one, but I gained one. Alright. That gives me a cunning, that gives me a food. I'm, the food is going to be the biggest thing, to eat or not to eat. So, spend two time. Uh, a wiggling creature still alive crawls out from the skull you only just found. You're desperate and famished, so you know this is going to be better than starving. That's disgusting. Um, this can give me another food. Yeah, so I spent the two there. I'm probably just going to have to keep doing that. Awesome. So, gives me another one. And then two more effort. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm finding a lot of food now. Slimy, although I'm eating just nasty shit. Uh, slimy yet nourishing. There's a little slug. Or a snail. A disgusting, slimy creature crawls along the wall. Capturing it is easy. The challenge is keeping it down. Gulp. It's slimy yet satisfying. So there's two. Gives me another. And my last one. Awesome. So it puts me up to five. All right. Okay, yeah, let's just see. See what I come across. Alright. 
I don't have that cunning, which would be nice. Um, well, actually, hold on. How many? One, two, okay, three. Yeah, three. Um, yeah, I don't have any cunning. I could t turn two things in into a cunning. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. Nope, that's not going to be helpful. I was thinking of a fruitful hunt, but because I could spend my fire fist to gain another thing and food and, oh, man. But I can't. Hmm, no. No. This axe, I probably should have looked at what the axe did because the, the troll has no armor. And, oh, man, that thing's hard to use. So... Because that would put me up to three. It only costs one. But I have to spend that. But that would give me all my food that I need. No. Uh, no, I, I, I need to rest. I'm going to need to rest, so that's going to be two. It's going to put me up to eight. Um. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's just see. Okay, well, not the worst thing, because I don't have an active condition, uh, so makeshift shelter, but going to spend the two to gain two. And here's the difficult decision. If I, because I'm going to suffer, if I suffer a wound affecting combat, then he'll suffer one wound, but that doesn't ha help because he heals. So, I mean, I'm going to have to go fight him, because if I ambush him, um, I lose two food, which I can't afford to lose at all. So, the best, the best thing is actually, oh man, the best thing is actually, you know, I might, so that he can actually disarm me, which would knock me down to bare hands, but then I can use my regular effort to deal damage to him. With the axe, I can't. I can only break shield or do big points of damage. Uh, so I guess, because I need eight. I need eight focus to give me two more regular things, but that would put me down to two. But nothing he does, I mean, and I can't gain any more. I won't be able to do that. Okay, yeah, I, we're just going to have to see what happens. So, yeah, I'm going to go after him. So, it's my go. The first thing I'm going to do is spend my big one to deal five damage to him. So, one, two, three, four, five, knocks him down to eight. Then it is his turn. Ooh. Um. Okay, so that is going to be one wound. So, I lose one effort. Uh which I deal a wound to him, but he'll gain it right back. So now it's my turn to knock him down to two, or uh, knock him down to three. Then it's his turn. Um, oh, that's amazing. Okay, so now I'm down to bare hands. He knocked my axe out. So I'm just like, fine, let's just fucking do this. Um, oh, no, that's not going to... Oh, yes, because he heals one. Oh, no, I think it's going to be a stalemate. I think I will eventually just lose. Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no way I can win. Well, no, actually, that's not true. Um, so, I am going to instead... One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. To give myself one big thing. Then pick up my axe. There it is. Oh, uh, now it's his go. Oh, one. Um, so, yeah, so I take a wound, and then he takes a wound, and then he heals. Um, then I'm going to spend... Oh, boy. Uh, where was I? There we go. There it is to gain the second one. 
Then it's his go. Uh, it's cocked. All right. Um. All right. So that's gonna be one because it wounded me. And he's gonna. And then I'm gonna spend the two, and I will actually kill him with my axe because this is gonna be knock him down to zero. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, you gain nothing, and then. Uh, yeah, no rewards. I am not dead. And then, oh, oh, thank God. All right, perfect. I was like, yeah, I, I thought I was for sure dead at the hunger step because like, you have to spend effort equal to the current level for each food you like. So I only have three foods. So I'm going to gain, I'm going to eat three, which gives me one, two, three. Then for the one, one food I don't have, uh, I have to spend four effort, which knocks me down to zero. Then I check if the level 4 monster was defeated. He was, which means I won. Yay! Um, and then there's like achievements like that you can look at. Uh, oh wait, no, there's actually a final score that you can that you can do. Which, I mean, is not going to be much. Actually, it'll definitely be higher. Um, no, I think it'll actually be the exact same as my uh, initial score. So, uh, I'll just, sh the, here's the score pad. Because you just times things like what you have. So, based off of the, the resources, I don't have any cunning left, so there's nothing there. I don't have any, I have one metal, which is going to be three points. No wood, no food. Um, I have two treasures, which are times ten, so that's twenty, and I have no effort at all. So, funny enough, it's going to be twenty-three, again, like my last score. Uh, so that is unbroken, 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 everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Click the I to go to the discussion. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching this, and if you like this video, then click the subscribe button below to enjoy any video that I put out. And right next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that so you get notified of whenever I actually upload these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can definitely visit my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.